Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Ho Chen, and today is a day for the U10 of Blade and Sorcery where I can officially say Outer Rims has returned better than ever. Let's get into it. So, if we go and have a look here, usual stuff, if you've played the Outer Rim before, this is what it will look like with the blasters, kyber crystals, lightsabers, and the Outer Rim section. If you haven't played it before, this is what you'll expect to find in your book right here. So, the kyber crystals right here, you'll get an arrangement of different colored lightsabers that you'll be able to use and play with to your own customization. Yes, you heard me right. Then you have got a load of blasters right here, so if you want to have a little go with guns, for example with the IB-94 rifle, pistol rifle here, and go and get these bad boys in. The cool thing with these, as you can see, the scope actually works as well. How freaking cool is that? So we're going to go and use a live dummy right here, and have a look in the scope. The scope, funny enough, works! How freaking cool is that? Ah! If you have a look through here, go and have a look at the map. See the map very, very close up. How freaking cool is that? Go into the kyber crystal section, go and get this lightsaber tool, go and put that down there, and then just point it to your lightsaber, your chosen lightsaber chassis, and then choose whichever one you want. So if you want to go for a nice rare kyber crystal, you can go for a dark saber, they have got black, or if you want to go for like a generic one that's purple and there's different variations of it, like the red kyber crystal which is unstable. <laughs> And it has the effects like Kyle Ren's lightsaber. Another cool thing that I just wanted to mention with the Outer Rim update, because obviously now it's been updated to U10, obviously you'll have to call stuff like lightsabers. And have some new looking ones like this, which just has to be one of my favourite ones, because it is based off the High Republic era, which I freaking adore. Stuff like these cross guard lightsabers, let me just go and put it down here, like, there's so much more diversity now, like, Age of the Bridges lightsaber, off of Star Wars. Which is a first-of-a-kind lightsaber that has a built-in blaster and a lightsaber attached to it as well, so it's a bit of both. And it actually works as well. Let's show that off. Like, look how freaking cool that is. I love that. And then if we go and get another lightsaber out, a really cool thing that you can do now as well, if you go and get a nice cross guard lightsaber like this, and you go into the kyber section and get the lightsaber tool, randomest lightsaber color you will ever see in your life. And you can just change it around. So if you didn't like that one, you could just go and get the lightsaber tool again. And just go and get them all out, and then just choose another random set, and then it's like whatever you want, and it's so freaking cool. Then, last but not least, if we go to the outer rim area, you're gonna notice here that we've the place we've already have touched on. You have got the jetpack, which you can wear. Uh, if you just take that, I'm not a jetpack, yeah, it's the based off the Mandalorian one. You can go and place this. On to your back if you go and place it onto the right side. We're we'll just going to move this lightsaber over here and just grab this bad boy here and just go and use it like this. Oh, look at us go! We're actually using it a little bit. Let's go and get Din Djarin's Mandalorian helmet, which is really wearable and there's a really simple way you get this on. You just gotta go right to the top of your head and not do that because that's not how you do it. 
So just like with the Dishonored mod where you can go and wear Corvo's mask right here, you can pretty much do the same with the Star Wars ones right here. It's just very, very tedious. Like if you manage to get that on, there's a whole load of different stormtroopers which you can wear. It's really freaking cool. Like there's a whole load of different ones. There's brand new Kylo Ren, Darth Revan. You got a few Mandalorian designed helmets. It's really freaking cool, and don't forget some of the new Kyber Crystal colors, like this red unstable. There's some that have been here already, there's some that haven't been here yet. Yeah, baby! So we're gonna go and get a lightsaber here, we're gonna go and get a random blaster to use. And then, apart from that, we're going to go and get into it. So, if you want to see how these all work, stay here and watch. But apart from that, I love you guys so much. Let me know what videos you'd like to see on the Outer Rim mod next. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's do this.